Hi friends, today I am bringing you a short story about keeping your dream. I am Jack and I have a friend named Monty who owns a horse ranch in Mexico. He has let me use his ranch to put on fundraising events to raise money for youth at risk programs. The last time when I was there, he introduced me to the guests by saying, I want to tell you why I let Jack use my ranch. It all goes back to a story about a young man who was the son of an itinerant horse trainer who would go from stable to stable, racetrack to racetrack, farm to farm and ranch to ranch, training horses. As a result, the boy's high school career was continually interrupted. When he was a senior, he was asked to write a paper about what he wanted to be and do when he grew up. That night, he wrote a seven-page paper describing his goal of someday owning a horse ranch. He wrote about his dream in detail and he even drew a diagram of a 200-acre ranch showing the location of all the buildings, the stables and the track. Then he drew a detailed floor plan for a 4,000 square foot house that would sit on a 200 acre dream ranch. He put a great deal of his heart into the project and the next day he handed it to his teacher. Two days later, he received his paper back. On the front page was a large red F which means failed with a note that read see me after class. The boy with the dream went to see the teacher after class and asked, why did I receive an F? The teacher said, this is an unrealistic dream for a young boy like you. You have no money. You come from an itinerant family. You have no resources. Owning a horse ranch requires a lot of money. You must buy the land. You must pay for the original breeding stock and later you will have to pay large stud fees. There is no way you could ever do it. Then the teacher added, If you rewrite this paper with a more realistic goal, I will reconsider your grade. The boy went home and thought about it long and hard. He asked his father what should he do. His father said, Look, son, you must make up your mind on this. However, let me tell you, I think it is a very important decision for you. Finally, after sitting with it for a week, the boy turned in the same paper making no changes at all. He stated, You can keep the F and I will keep my dream. Monty then turned to the assembled group and said, I tell you this story because you are sitting in Monty's, that is my 4,000 square feet house in the middle of my 200 acre horse ranch. I still have that school paper framed over that fireplace. He added, the best part of the story is that two summers ago, the same school teacher brought 30 kids to camp out on my ranch for a week. When the teacher was leaving, she said, Look, Monty, I can tell you this now. When I was your teacher, I was something of a dream stealer. During those years, I stole a lot of kids' dreams. Fortunately, you had enough determination not to give up on yours. Key takeaway from the story? Don't let anyone steal your dreams. Follow your heart no matter what. Protect your dreams fiercely. Don't allow anyone to snatch them away. Trust your heart's guidance regardless of the challenges that arise. Let your heart be the compass that leads you to uncertainty. Embrace the journey, staying true to your dreams against all odds. All the best.